Hello everyone, welcome to Craniometric Points Part 2. Hopefully you've watched the Part 1 video over Craniometric Points. In the last video I discussed all the Craniometric Points located down the mid-sagittal plane. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish up identifying the rest of the Craniometric Points that are needed for this course. The first Craniometric Point I'm going to identify is called the Jugali. And it's located right here on the zygomatic bone. It's located at the intersection of the frontal process of the zygomatic bone and the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. So right here, where that junction is, is going to be the jugali. The next craniometric point is called the maxillofrontale, and it's located where the frontal maxillary suture and the frontal process of the maxilla meet. So right here. And again, this is called the maxillofrontale. The next craniometric point is near the maxillofrontale, and it's called the dacreon. Now, the dacreon is located at the medial border of the orbit where the lacrimal maxillary suture and the frontal bone intersect. So we're going to go ahead and identify it's going to be right here. And again, that's called the dacreon. The next landmark is very close to the dacreon and it's called the lacrimale. Now the lacrimale is located where there's an intersection between the posterior lacrimal crest and the frontal lacrimal suture. So right here. And again, that's called the lacrimale. Now those three are kind of hard to identify and they get jumbled up because they're so close to one another. So the way I remember it is starting from the most medial craniometric point, which, which is the maxillofrontale. I work my way laterally ending at the lacrimale and I think of my dog licks eyes. So M for my, D for dog, L for licks, and it's heading closer to the bony orbit, so eyes. That's how I remember it. So my dog licks eyes. And that is the order of these uh, three craniometric points. The next, cra the next craniometric point is quite easy to remember and identify. It's located on the condyle of the mandible, and this is called condylion right here. It's found on the most lateral aspect of the condyle. Just a little bit posterior to the condylion, we have the external acoustic meatus of the temporal bone. Now, the most superior part, so where I'm identifying right here in this red dot, the most superior part of that opening is called the porion. The next landmark that we're going to identify is right here on the mastoid process of the temporal bone and at the most inferior point of this process is going to be called the mastoidale. Now if we go over to the mandible, more specifically the angle of the mandible, if we go to the most lateral and posterior part of the angle of the mandible, that's going to be called the gonion. This next landmark isn't specifically a point. A lot of these craniometric points that I've mentioned are at intersections between sutures or the most inferior point of a process. Well, this next one is not the case. It's a very small region. It's called the pterion. And it's located where the frontal, the sphenoid, the parietal, and the temporal bones come together. So right here in this region. This is called the pterion. Again, there's no point where all four bones intersect, so this little region is called the pterion. Now, some of you might not be aware of a specific landmark called the temporal line, and if you don't, it's this line right here. It's this ridge, and it goes up and around and down like that. It's called the temporal line. Where the temporal line intersects the coronal suture, so right here, that's called the stephanion. Stephanion. So where the temporal line intersects the coronal sutures, the Stephanion. The frontotemporale is a craniometric point located again with the temporal line 
And when the temporal line reaches the anterior medial most point on the frontal bone. So it's going to be somewhere around here. Again, the most anterior and medial point on the frontal bone, but again running along the temporal line. And that's called the frontotemporale. The last point I want to identify on this image is called the asterion, and it's located at the intersection of the parietal mastoid suture, the lambdoid suture, and the occipital mastoid suture. So if you look right here, this point right here where all these sutures come together, that's called the asterion. Now remember, all these craniometric points are found on the contralateral side of the skull. So all of these are paired. Unlike the other craniometric points, which were just found on the mid-sagittal plane, these have a paired craniometric point on the opposite side. On the anterior surface of the skull, there are a few more craniometric points we need to cover. If we look at the bony orbit, we could see how it makes a circular shape. At the lowest point of the bony orbit, it's going to be called the orbitale. And just to review um, where the maxillofrontale is, it's located right here. I'll just write that down one more time. Returning back to the inferior margin of the bony orbit, if we can find the zygomaxillary suture, so this suture right here, where this suture meets the inferior margin of the bony orbit, this craniometric point is called the zygo orbitale. If we divide the bony orbit into a top half and a bottom half, kind of like I'm doing right here, so this is more or less half of the bony orbit, if we go to the most lateral portion where this half line intersects, that is called the ectoconchion. Again, this is the most lateral portion of the bony orbit if you divide the bony orbit into equal top and bottom halves. If we go towards where the mouth would be and we identify the second molar tooth on the superior dental arch, we find our next craniometric point. Just above it on the alveolar border, again, um, just above the second molar tooth on the superior dental arch, that is going to be called ectomorale. And if we go inside the mouth on the same tooth, on the, in the lingual border of this tooth, on the opposite side where the ectomorale is, that's called the endomorale. Um, right now you can't see it, but I'll go ahead before I end this video, I'll identify it. But do know on the opposite side within the mouth is the endomorale. If I can get you to focus your attention on the zygomatic arch, the point where it's most lateral is called the zygion. Again, we turn to the zygomatic bone. If we go to the zygomaxillary suture, the most inferior point of this suture, so right here, that's going to be called the zygomaxillary. Perfect. Two more craniometric points and then we'll be done with this video. The next one I want to discuss is called the urion. The urion is the point of the skull where it has its greatest breadth. So the widest part of the skull. So if I drew a line and, and I went through the skull, I want to draw this line through the widest portion of the skull. So I'm looking at the anterior surface of the skull right now. And I'm trying to see where is the widest part. So the widest part for me I see is about right here. And this is a paired craniometric point like I mentioned before. All these are paired. And again, this is going to be called the urion. 
The final craniometric point is the alare. And if you know a little bit of Latin, you know that ala means wing, then you can refer down to the wing of the nose. Where the most lateral points of the nasal aperture are, so right here, right here, that's called the alare. Perfect, those are all the craniometric points. I'm going to go ahead and switch slides so I can show you where the endomorale is, since I showed you where the ectomorale is. Okay, in this image, uh, I removed all the teeth for whatever reason. I don't know what I was thinking. But regardless, right here, so this is where the second molar tooth would be on the superior dental arch. And so this is going to be the endomorale. And those are all the craniometric points, so you should uh, be set. There's a total of 46 craniometric points that we learned between the two videos. Hopefully these have been helpful, and you guys keep on studying hard. Take care.